Are humans still evolving? Modern humans first evolved in Africa about 200,000 years ago and then migrated across the globe about 50 to 100,000 years ago. As they migrated into diverse environments, they adapted both culturally and linguistically. But are humans still evolving at the genetic level or has cultural innovation replaced the need for genetic evolution? To answer this question, I'm going to give two concrete examples of recent and ongoing adaptation in humans. The first example is adaptation to malaria infection, which kills millions of people every year. Genetic variants of the G6PD gene produce an enzyme deficiency, which can cause severe anemia and death. And yet these variants have risen to high frequency due to protection from malaria infection. We estimated the age of the most common variant in Africa to be less than 10,000 years, corresponding to the development of plant and animal domestication, which resulted in the establishment of large permanent settlements and facilitated the spread of malaria, thus increasing the selection pressure. The second example is the genetic basis of lactose tolerance. Most mammals are unable to digest the sugar lactose present in milk as adults. However, many individuals from populations whose ancestors practiced cattle domestication are able to digest milk due to a genetic variant which regulates expression of the enzyme lactase. Different genetic variants have risen to high frequency in East Africa and Europe independently within the past 9,000 years due to natural selection, concordant with the cultural development of cattle domestication. These two examples demonstrate that cultural innovation does not necessarily eliminate natural selection, but rather may create new selection pressures. Humans continue to adapt, both culturally and genetically, to a rapidly changing global environment. Therefore, my answer to the question, are humans still evolving, is a resounding yes.